Hi, I'm Lauren Johnston, uh, the writer of the Running Dialogue blog for the New York Daily News. We're here today jogging with Veronica Webb as part of the Running With series, talking to celebrities who are running the 2010 New York City Marathon. So one thing that's been really cool and interesting to see talking with the different celebrities, and the thing that's cool about the marathon is that I think it's just this humbling collective experience. It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of star you are in your own you know, the rest of your life, everyone recognizes that running 26.2 miles is something that's really tough. You, you know, everyone has to train. Some people, their bodies are just more geared for it than others, but it's still like you can't just go out and run it. Everyone has to put in the hours and the exercise, and I think everyone is just kind of awed by what it takes to, to make it work and to get ready for it. The feeling of running a marathon is amazing. It's like you get in there. And we're, like as far as, as you can see in front of you, there's people. As far behind you as you can see, there's people. As far as you can look this way, as far as you can look that way, there's people. You know, and it's all love and it's all support. And you run through like the five boroughs. And I mean, if you ever want to understand the drug that is fame, run a marathon. You get so much love. Like if you have on, you know, I don't know, a necklace or um, a pink headband or something like, hey, you in the pink headband, go. Da -da 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 -da. You know, and at mile 20, when you think you're going to die, and people are cramping up and bending over, and you come over like, and you come over the bridge into the boogie down Bronx, and they're all there with the DJ stand, and they're playing Kanye, and they're screaming for you, and they're dancing, and there's a soul train line. You're like, yes, I could do this, and then you run back over that bridge, and then there you are in Harlem, and you hear like, ain't no stopping us now, as you come around Morningside Avenue, and you're like, oh, it's so true, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up there with, you know, seeing Paris for the first time or coming to New York for the first time or having a baby. It's like a big life-changing experiment. Uh, experience. It's a huge life-changing experience. I love it. I mean, I can't recommend it more highly.